Pentagon officials say Russia's mor Russians' morale is very low. So bad, in fact, that one report described Russian soldiers just parking their vehicles and walking off into the woods. So where exactly are the Russians stalling? NBC's Clint Watts is tracking their movements. Shepard, lots to talk about tonight, but not where we've been focused on before. We were talking about Kyiv, but I think the real areas to look at are to the east. The Pentagon briefing we heard from today, the Russians are having lots of trouble, and we've seen it here, a new dimension in the war. These convoys we were talking about last week, logistics tied up in Kyiv, we now see tanks stuck in the mud. They're losing their armor momentum. And separately, in many of these places, Kharkiv, an intense battle here that has played out for quite some time, you still see Ukrainian counteroffensives taking back that land and blocking Russian forces from encircling it. Separately, down here to the south is where we saw some Russian success in advancing here, a land bridge out of Crimea, and trying to connect with their forces here in Donbass. They are encircling Mariupol, and I think that's the bigger story, which is the south. Putin will ultimately have to make a decision about where he wants to focus. He's fighting in the north, the east, and the south. This is where their advances have been most significant. Mariupol has come under intense fire. That's where we saw unfortunate killing of people, uh, children, in a theater. But the thing to look for now is out here to the west, and that essentially is this battle here up north of Mykolaiv. The Russians really knocked down uh, here, not able to advance over to Moldova. And what we're looking at tonight is reports of the Russian Navy out here in the Black Sea advancing on Odessa. There are reports that Odessa is receiving uh, naval gunfire, essentially prep of the battlefield. But if the Russians can't envelop the city and encircle it to the north and out to the west, they're going to have a real hard time with an amphibious assault here, Shep. All right. Clint Watts, thank you. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.